In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Dear viewers, I welcome you to another edition of God's Word on Lumen Christi, Ghana. Today, I want to reflect with you the necessity of prayer. The necessity of prayer. My dear friends, there are many people who have approached me and have asked me the question, Father, how do we pray? Father, I don't know how to pray. Father, can you teach me how to pray? Father, why should I pray? And today, we can't run away from the fact that there are many people who do not pray. The only time when we pray is in the church, when we are all gathered to worship. That is the only time we pray. The first thing we want to do in the morning is to catch the early morning bus or to beat the traffic. And many of us do not pray at all. But let's look at Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 16 to 18, especially verse 17. It says, Rejoice always. Pray without season. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So in verse 17, he says, Pray without season. The Christian must learn to pray without season. Pray at all times. Pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray in the evening. Not as a formula, not just fulfilling some requirement, but beloved, prayer must be a lifestyle. Prayer must be lived. Prayer must be part and parcel of our lives. In Luke chapter 11 verse 1 to 2, it says, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples to pray. The disciples went to Jesus when he was praying. And when he finished praying, they asked him, Lord, teach us how to pray, just as John taught his disciples. It means the disciples or the apostles at that time, they don't know how to pray. And so they went to Jesus, seeking him to teach them how to pray. And so what is prayer? Why would Jesus pray? Simple definition that we are all aware of is communication between man and God. Prayer is simply communicating between man and God. But we could have other definitions as the lifting up of our minds and our heart to God. Or the voluntary response to the awareness of God's presence. So beautiful. The voluntary response of the awareness of God's presence can be considered as prayer. But let's use the first definition as communication between man and God to learn something. If prayer indeed is communication, then beloved, we are looking at a sender and a receiver. The one who initiated the communication is the sender, and the one at the other end is the receiver. And in every communication, if one gives a message, one must be ready to receive a feedback. And so anytime we go to pray and we give a message to God, we must always be ready for a feedback. But these days, we see that the only aspect of prayer is one way. We go on our knees, we talk and pray and talk and talk and talk, and we get up without listening for a feedback. There should be a feedback. Have you waited for that feedback? It is always one way. And so most of us complain, I didn't hear God speak to me. God is not speaking to me because you are in haste to end the communication. My dear friends, if I called you on the mobile phone and I was speaking to you and right after I finish communicating what I want to say and I cut the call, I wouldn't get your side of the communication. I must listen to your response as to whether you have actually heard me or not or get a feedback. So why do we rush in our prayers? Prayer is very, very important. One, because it is creating or deepening our relationship. In fact, prayer must deepen relationship. 
like a boyfriend and a girlfriend. My dear friends, when you see a, a boyfriend and a boy a girlfriend meeting together, especially for the first time when they get to see each other, they want to spend all their lives, all their time, talking to each other. And the boy will not sleep a day without talking to the girl. You know it is true. And a girl will never end a day without talking to the boy. You know it is very true. And so in a day, this boyfriend and girlfriend will talk about five times or ten times a day. In the morning, oh, sweetheart, have you eaten? Have you, what, what dream did you have? And when he goes to work, are you okay? Have you reached? And they keep communicating the whole day. And even in the night, some cannot sleep without communicating. This is a sign of love. That these two are in love and cannot spend the day without communicating with each other. If we two are in love with God, if we two are deeply in love with God, we will spend some time communicating with him every day. That is why he says, pray without season. At any time we can pray to God, we can communicate with him, but it must be a two-way affair. These days, it has become something else. And people think prayer is all about shouting. People think prayer is all about jumping. People think prayer is all about clapping. It is communication. It is about talking to God. It's about deepening a relationship like a boyfriend and a girlfriend. We must fall in love with God. And when we fall in love with God, we will always desire to communicate with Him. And as we talk, we will wait for Him to respond to our communication. But we do not have that time to listen to Him. All it is about telling Him our problem, giving Him our request, and that is all. If your boyfriend or your girlfriend will do that, anytime he calls you, it's about, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that, and ends the call, every time, how will you feel? And the next time your girlfriend is calling you, it's about asking something, how will you feel in such a relationship? Have time. Chat with God. Talk to God. You don't need to jump. You don't need to shout. You don't need to roll. That is not all prayer is about even though we have types of prayers. But these days, any type of prayer is full of shouting. Any type of prayer is full of clapping. Any type of prayer, but depending on the prayer you are doing, comes with its own demeanor. My dear friend, what kind of prayer are you engaging in? Are you communicating with God in your prayer? Remember, it is two-way affairs. It must be a two-way affair. If you talk to God, allow him to talk to you. In fact, he does all the time. Prayer can never be taken away. It is only when the boyfriend stops calling the girlfriend, only for a reason. He is fed up. He doesn't want to hear of her anymore. Maybe he has another girlfriend. And so now attention has been drawn to the other girlfriend. And so he doesn't have time for you. If we do that, if we stop praying to God, communicating with him, it is because perhaps we have gotten another thing drawing our attention, taking us away from God, and we do not have time for God anymore. Do you really have time for him? Do you cherish the relationship you have with Jesus? If you really love Jesus and the relationship you have with him, I know you will get some time to speak to him in the morning. You will get some time to speak to him in the afternoon. You will get some time to speak to him in the evening. The church has made it so simple for us by giving us the Angelus prayer at 6 a.m., at 12 noon, and 6 p.m. How many of us follow this? Because we are fed up with the relationship with Jesus. We are tired of the relationship with Jesus because the relationship has been one way because we don't wait for him to speak to us in this relationship. Today, I challenge you that if you love God, have time for him. And if you have time for God, God will have time for you. If you dedicate your time to him, he will dedicate his time for you. If you give him your all, God will give you your all. If you cherish this relationship, God will also cherish this relationship. Know that we as Christians can never do without prayer because prayer is the lifeline of every Christian. A week without a prayer
can make you weak. I pray that you find time every day to communicate with God whom you have loved and always desire to worship. May God bless and keep us all. Amen.